Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, to more Pokemon Red and Blue, the bonus episode. You thought the adventure was over, but guess what? It wasn't. You're never done with me. This is the Pokemon Marathon, and after a long hiatus, like a month-long hiatus, we're finally getting back at it. Like a crack addict. All right. <laughs> All right. So, what are we here to do in this bonus episode? Well, if you remember last time on the Pokemon on the Pokemon Power Player playthrough. I, I don't know how to do intros. I, I suck at them. If you remember last time, we uh, ended on a little cliffhanger that there are some uh, unresolved issues we must do. And those unresolved issues is catching some legendaries. Every Pokemon game has a number of legendaries that are new to the game. And, you know, once you're in post-game, all that's left to do is hunt them down and maybe like... I don't know, do like a battle tower or some bullshit? Whatever. But, we're here, and we're gonna hunt some goddamn legendaries. Why? Because I feel like... Okay, so, what I'm about to say, I'm gonna sound like a major hypocrite. But just, just like, stick with me for like a, for like a quick second, alright? Um, actually, where the fuck do I want to go first? Lavender Town, Vermilion, no, not Lavender Town. Uh, Cerulean, I think that's where I want to go. But yeah, just stick with me for a little bit, right? So, every Pokemon game, well, every, all right, for this marathon, I do want to show off all the legendaries as much as I possibly can, as long as I don't have to go too out of my way for them. Now, it's gonna sound very hypocritical of me, right? But in the future, there are Pokemon games like, uh, X and, oh, there's the hole. I thought they sealed it up for a moment. I was like, what the fuck? Um, there's future Pokemon games like X and Y, I think, where, like, you have to wait a certain time of day and do some other bullshit to, like, do I have a Pokemon with cut on, on me? I don't think I do. Kush? Kushnander? Two scoops? Two scoops, do you have cut? We gotta head to the Pokemon Center. Okay, alright. I think my Bellsprout has cut. I think I have a Bellsprout, if I remember correctly. It's been a month. Maybe like a month and a half, I really don't remember. Oh god, it's been a while. But um, yeah, so, there are games like X and Y where it's like, where it's like, to get the legendaries, you either gotta hunt them down, or you gotta find them at a certain time of day, or whatever, but you can't fuck with the system clock or some bullshit. Why am I healing my Pokemon? I just realized what the fuck I was doing. Um, and you can't fuck with the system clock or some bullshit, or some other stuff like that, right? And that's just so unnecessary, right? Just doing all that to get, like, a legendary Pokemon here and there. So, you know, in the future, I don't want to waste my time doing that shit. Um, and even just going in and out of the game and reset and shit, it's just so annoying. It's so... It's so fucking annoying. Uh, who's getting kicked out? Let's see. I don't want... Well, we need King of Cart. And uh, I feel like having HM bitch on me is good. Uh, you know what? Chunners, get get your ass in there. Go prepare yourself for Street Fighter VI. <laughs> All right, Bellsprout, I think you got cut on you, right? Come on, buddy, let's go. So, Pokemon Red and Blue is one of those games where like you gotta do a little bit of arbitrary shit to get one of the legendary Pokemons, and I'm pretty sure we all know who I'm talking about. We're talking about the legendary Pokemon Mew. And before you say, go look under the truck, let it be known that if you tell me that, I will hunt you down, and something bad will happen to you. I'm not gonna say what, because I don't wanna be legally implicated to whatever may happen to you. But, just let it be known. Cut it out. <laughs> but seriously though, like, doing all the shit with Mew is so annoying, and there is an actual way to get Mew in the game without, you know, dealing with, like, event bullshit. Well, I mean, you can't deal with it anymore because it's not available. But, it, it, it requires you fighting a certain trainer, right? Using teleport at a certain time and all the other bullshit, right? And I would do it, 100%, because it doesn't seem too out of the way. But, what the problem is is that, am I, I didn't know this is how you got Mew in this game, because I never really worried that 
much about it, because when it came to online battles in Pokemon, I never really cared that much. Um, and usually, if I wanted a legendary Pokemon, I would get it myself. I wouldn't ask anybody to hand it out to me. But, um, yeah, with Mew, the way you would do it is that there's a certain trainer you have to save and not fight. Apparently, in my playthrough, and it's like early on in the game too, but in my playthrough, I ended up fighting that trainer, so I kind of locked myself out of getting Mew. And that sucks, because to show it off, I would have to uh, restart the game and play all the way up to that point and then fucking get Mew. Wow, are you a Pokemaniac too? Want to see my collection? I didn't think this would be a battle. I should have thought this through. What level are you, Pokemon, buddy? Go, Rhyhorn! Go! Error! By the way, we're having Error leave the group this time, because I feel like Error didn't get to show off as much as they can do. As much as it can do. Him, he, her, them, they. I don't know. It's whatever it wants to be, I guess. Try attack! Like, I don't even think- I don't even think I got to use Error during the, uh... During the, uh, Elite Four as much as I wanted to. Because Ice Beam was supposed to be, like, the thing to do. Ice Beam super effective against Rock? Oh! It's super effective against Rock and Gr Oh, wait, no, it's super effective against Ground. Rhyhorn is, uh... Rhyhorn is Ground as well, right? Hmm. Go, Lickitung! I always liked Lickitung. Is this our first time seeing Lickitung in this game? I always liked Lickitung. I really did. I mean, did. I still do. I like Lickitung and I like Licky Licky. Licky Leaks is my boy. That's my guy. I remember when Gym 4 came out and I was like, Yo! Lickitung's got evolution? It's called Licky Licky? That's my boy. <laughs> I think you evolve it by teaching it rollout. Think that's what you gotta do? But anyways, here we are at the old factory and I just realized something really completely stupid. And I'm going to be very mad if I don't see it here. <coughs> oh. <laughs> By the way. Uh, I think I went off screen and used the, uh, the missing no glitch that I showed you guys to get Master Balls. Because I'm not sitting here hucking fucking Ultra Balls at a, a Legendary. We're not doing that. Especially not in Gen 1 where you have limited space for, uh, for bullshit. Okay, 50 Max Repels. Alright, cool. So here in the old factory, you had to Cerulean... Ooh, what's over here? Carbos. Thanks. You head to Cerulean, right? And you, you know, you surf and all that other bullshit. And you get your ass over here. Now, if I remember correctly, the Pokemon will see... Well, here they are. Say hello to the fastest Pokemon in the game, I believe. Oh, wait, actually, that's a Voltorb. Never mind. I thought that was an Electrode. Electrode is the fastest Pokemon in Gen 1, I believe. But be careful when you fight these guys. The reason they... First of all, they look like Pokeballs, right? I know. I know Gen 1 has the best designs of Pokemon. Don't at me, guys. I mean, did you see how much effort they put in this? I mean, look at Gen 5. They didn't even try. <laughs> I've made a couple of people mad today. Yeah, but that's pretty much why you want to watch out for Voltorbs and Electrodes. Because they're also the fastest Pokemon in the game. They just... Love fucking you up. They just love doing that, man. Uh... Do I even have anything? What does Carbos even do? Speed? Okay, there you go. Sure, whatever. I don't have any healing items. That was a real stupid thing for me to do. You know what? Because I just came in here with some max repels and I was like, yeah, sure, fine. But, you know, as long as I don't fuck with any items or anything like that, I should be good. But, yeah, so... Back to what I was saying earlier. I'm not gonna fuck with any of this shit. I'm just not. I'm just not gonna deal with it. We're just not gonna deal with it. We're just gonna get to the legendary Pokemon. We're here to get Zapdos, by the way. You gotta come to the old factory to get Zapdos. You can get this way earlier, but I mean, as you saw, Voltorb over there is level 40, so, you know, use some caution, right? But once you make your way through, unlike me, because I don't really do this that much, honestly, it's Gen 1, what did you expect? Once you make your way through, you're gonna find that good old, that good electric bird somewhere around here. And then you're just gonna huck a ball at it and catch it. Oh, here it is! Look at this little derp face it got going on. 
I always like Zapdos. I always thought Zapdos is my favorite of the trio. Garu. You know, I know a lot of people like uh, Articuno, and nobody likes Moltres, because Moltres is like a shitty fucking design. It's literally just like a... It's a raw chicken on fire. It's a chicken without any feathers on fire. It's literally fried chicken. <laughs> but I always thought Zapdos was the coolest design. Like, even in Pokemon Stadium, like... Whenever I do... F when I, I can't even speak English, goddammit. Whenever I would do uh, free play, and, um, like, free battle, and, uh, whatchamacallit, Pokemon Stadium, I would always grab Zapdos. Zapdos was cool to me. But anyways, hey, we caught Zapdos, because we used the Master Ball. What do you mean I'm cheating? I'm not cheating. You're cheating. Shut up. Zapdos, a legendary bird Pokemon that is said to appear from clouds while dropping enormous lightning bolts. Do you want to give it a name? Nah, dog. That's cool. Now, before you guys lose your shit, you're like, what's the point of catching the legendaries if you're just gonna cheat with Master Balls? Well, guess what? This is the only Pokemon game that I can do this in, so I'm gonna fucking do it, and we're doing a Pokemon Marathon, and best believe we're gonna be coming back here in red and blue. Uh, Fire Red and, my bad, Fire Red and Leaf Green. And we're not going to be able to use the Master Ball cheat, so uh, if you're really complaining about it, do me a favor and just shut up and go fuck yourself. Alright, cool, great. <laughs> Why are you so hostile? Why are you so mean to me? But anyways, that's how you get Zapdos, right? Our next stop is we can either head to the Seafoam Islands, which is pretty easy because Articuno's just right there. Or we can head to... Actually, fucking wow. I just realized how close Moltres and Articuno are to each other. Oh, wait, no. My bad. Because Moltres isn't in the fucking, um. Moltres isn't in the goddamn, whatchamacallit, and Cinnabar. No more. No more. What am I saying, no more? Moltres shows up in Cinnabar and let's go, I think. I think that's what I'm thinking of. <laughs> Moltres is in, um, Victory Road. So I guess we'll go in order, right? We'll go in order in which you'll find them. So let's head to the Scene Foam Islands. It's pretty easy to get there anyways. We're going after Articuno. Yeah, I keep getting sidetracked, by the way, with what I want to say. So basically what I'm saying is this. Some of the Pokemon games, we're not going to be getting all the legendaries. Mew, we're going to skip Mew entirely because I'm just not restarting the game and I'm not doing all that other bullshit. Maybe if there's a special... I don't remember how you get Mew and Fire Red and Leaf Green. I think you use, like, an e-reader card or some bullshit. But, I mean... Don't tell nobody. Don't tell nobody, but that's easily emulated. So, I mean, come on. We can just... We can just do that when we get to it. But for right now, don't worry about Mew. Just don't. Right? I honestly do want to just capture the legendaries as they show up in the game, but... You know... Also, it's the Pokemon Marathon, so it's not our only chance to see Mew. I mean... I mean, have you played Pokemon Snap? <laughs> so... So, uh, you know... We're not really missing out on much. We're just missing out on how derpy Mew looks. And who knows, maybe... As I'm editing this, I'll just... Rethink my thoughts. Rethink my thoughts, yep, that's how you do it. I'll just rethink my stance on it and just end up catching Mew anyways. Probably not, because I got too much shit to do already like i gotta edit and upload the uh the kingdom hearts streams and also the uh motherfucker how the fuck what how are you oh i guess you're just throwing your bird pokemon at me okay that's weird but okay i mean i'm all the way in the water and you're all the way over there somehow you managed to get my attention but all right that's cool but it's okay though because ice beam Bye, Firo. Bye. I don't know why you... I don't know why you just... decided to fuck with my life today, but, you know... It was the wrong move, buddy. You came to the fucking wrong neighborhood today, I'll tell you that. I'll tell you what for. <laughs> but yeah, you know... Just... Just let it be known. Just going forward. I might not get every Legendary, but I'm gonna try. As long as I don't get too much of a headache. And I'm gonna be honest with you, by the end of the Pokemon Marathon... Marathon. 
well, yeah, by the end of the Pokemon Marathon, I'll probably have a headache. But also, by the end of Pokemon Red and Blue, I had a little bit of a headache, I'm not gonna lie. I was just, you know, sometimes staring at a, 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 a fucking white screen that's, like, blasting light in your eyes. And, like, having effects go off that might end up giving you a seizure or some shit. Sometimes you just, sometimes you just don't want to play Gen 1 of Pokemon, you know? Sometimes you don't want to deal with limited item space. Sometimes you just want to have fun and play some Final Fantasy XIV. <laughs> That's why I'm not playing Final Fantasy XIV. Not right now, anyways. Right now I'm a, I'm in a view, I'm in a huge VR kick, but not in the way you think. I'm playing actual, like, VR games. I'm not fucking around in VR chat. But I will one day. I'll see what that's all about, you know? But as of right now, I am- I just realized I'm walking around without using my fucking repel. What am I doing? What am I doing? What- what am I doing? Alright. Now let's see if I can remember where the fuck to go in this area. Is this it? I think it is. No, oh, the King of Cut. Magikarp. Gyarados Cart. Hey, Articuno. Garu. It's not even saying Garu. That's the fun part about it. Oh my god, you look horrible. <laughs> what? I don't remember Articuno looking like this. Oh god. You look horrible. <laughs> Paint me like one of your French birds. Alright. Wow. I don't remember you looking like this in Gen 1. Okay, cool. Well, props to your redesign that you get later on. There's a mosquito in my room, and I just caught it with one hand, by the way. That was really cool. I made zero noise while doing it. I caught it with one hand and crushed it. Alright. Alright. A legendary bird Pokemon that is said to appear to doomed people who are lost in icy mountains. Well, first of all, this is neither a mountain nor is it icy, right? <laughs> Actually, that's really funny because I think in the later versions of the Seafoam Islands, they make it an icy cave. But as of right now, even in like Fire and Red, uh, Fire Red, Fire and Red, thank you, thank you, Brain. Even in like Fire Red and Leaf Green, I don't think the place is like an ice cavern. It shows up in icy mountains, that's why it's in a fucking cave. On an island. <laughs> Alright. Oh, I got- I, guys, I gotta update. By the way, I thought I caught the mosquito with one hand. Turns out I did not. It is currently flying in front of my screen, and I'm gonna smack the shit out of it. Three, two... <clears throat> I think I got it. I'm not sure if that picked up on the mic. You might have just heard me just go, eh, right? I'm not sure if you heard me smack my monitor. I'm not sure if I even hit the damn thing. I might have. It's not even a big mosquito. It's like a small one. Like one of those really annoying small ones. I keep telling people to not leave the fucking doors open in the house. But they keep going outside and leaving the doors open. Uh, I don't have... Do I have an escape rope? Fuck me, man. I don't. <laughs> Damn it. I love how the music just is so out of tone. <laughs> but I think, uh, I think this, I think we have a, oh. That's blocked off. But this should be the exit over here, right? Down here? Maybe? Oh, shit. Oh fuck, how do I get out? Over here? Later on in other games, I won't have to... I won't have to press the start button and... Wait, am I... Where did I go? Where am I? Wait a minute. Where... Am I gonna get lost in the fucking Sea Foam Islands again? I'm gonna get lost in the goddamn Sea Foam Islands again. I feel it. I feel it happening. It's happening again. Oh god. Oh god, I don't want to repeat of what happened last time. Get me the fuck out of here, please. I gotta get over there to that side. Down here. 
Am I out? No? Oh no, I'm going in circles. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh no. Oh no. If I end up getting lost in here again, I'm gonna cut away. Because the point of this video is not to be that long, honestly. If anything, the long part should be me fucking around looking for Mewtwo. I'm out! I did it! Yeah! I hate the Seafoam Islands! And the repel just wore off. Alright, cool. Alright. Get me the fuck out of here. Uh... Where are we heading to? Where are we finning to fly to? I'm finning to... Fitting to? Uh, Victory Road, right? Victory, Victory, Victory Road. Indigo Plateau. I'm trying to think, like, which way the Vic- like, which way do I want to go down Victory Road? Who has strength, by the way? Who's- who's rocking strength on my team? Is it King of Cart? No. It's definitely not Bellsprout. Well, we don't need Bellsprout no more. We're- we're done with Bellsprout. I think Chunners has it. Bro, get your ass in there. HM bitch, we still need you for now. Um, is Chunners the one that has it, or is it Orphan? I think it's Orphan, actually. Orphan, are you the one rocking strength? Oh, Pokedex. That's the first time I ever opened that fucking thing on this playthrough. Orphan. No, you have Dig. Okay. Let's get two scoops out of here. We don't really need you. Not right now. Alright, Chunners, get out here. Alright, let's head on down Victory Road. This is probably the long way of going there. Could have just. Yeah, could have just uh, took the easy way. Honestly, now that I think about it. But whatever. Alright, here on Victory Road. Where does this lead to? Chunners? Also, once again, completely forgot to do that. What the hell does this actually lead to? I don't remember. Also, get down there. I forgot which floor Moltres is on, by the way. Don't expect me to remember everything. What the hell is this? TM-47? the fuck is TM-47? Contains explosion? Hmm. Okay. Oh! Well, that was easy! Hi, Moltres! Gaiyu. Oh, Moltres's sprite kind of looks cool in Gen 1, I'm not gonna lie. Looks better than Arnakuno's. <laughs> Arnakuno's just like, Ta! It's me, a bird. Hi. Hello. Here I am. Go, Master Ball. Capture it. Yay. Moltres was caught, look at that. Moltres, flame Pokemon. Known as the legendary bird of fire, every flap of its wings creates a dazzling flash of flames. Would you like to nickname it? No. Alright. All three... Was this thing always here? Guard spec. Okay, cool. Well, legendary birds are all caught. <laughs> Only thing left is to get, uh, the dreaded Mewtwo. Right? That and of course Mew, but I mean, come on, we're not, we're not doing that. Oh shit, I'm gonna end up getting lost in Victory Road. Oh fuck. 
Because everything looks exactly the same. Oh, I can't even go straight down there. Shit. Alright, well. Let's just find out where this leads, then. I mean, all I gotta do is make it outside. And then use fly, really. Hmm. Repel has worn off. Note to self, next time, next time you do some crazy shit like this, uh, bring some, uh, bring some escape ropes. Note to self. Cause even that way is blocked off, I gotta push the fucking rock all the way down here and I don't wanna do that. Come on, seriously? There's no like, that's the ladder where I came from. Up here. Fucking Christ. I don't want to fight any of these fucking trainers. What do you even got? Mr. Mime? Mr. Mime about to do some Mr. Time. Yeah, okay, that was a bad joke. Go! Try attack. Substitute, really, dog? Substitute broke. That's cool. I always felt like Substitute was one of those moves that was just fucking stupid. I mean, of course nowadays in competitive Pokemon, I guess it would be like a good stalling tool. Like if you want a Pokemon to die from poison or something, but at the same time you're fucking up your own health, so... It's whatever, I guess. There we go. Defeated Juggler. <laughs> I'm sorry. It may have seemed like I just randomly laughed for no reason, and to be true, that is exactly what happened, but it wasn't completely for no reason. It was because I was remembering, um... <laughs> when I read Juggler, for some reason I remembered, uh... bo 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 in which, um... <laughs> It's like the part where they're introducing uh, the blue guy, what's his name? Jiggly Juggler or something like that? Jiggly Jello Man or something? I forgot. But <laughs> it's not even that what made me laugh. It's, um, it's, uh, whatchamacallit? <laughs> it's when they're introducing, like, the commanders, and it's the uh, dub version, because, like, because Bubba Bo is, like, very heavy on, like, political humor and shit like that in Japan or whatever. But, uh, in the States, since, you know, we're not, we're not Japan, when they dubbed it, they just had to come up with some dumb shit. So when they were introducing one of the characters, it's like, it's like, introducing Gamma the Gale, commander of C-Block. And he goes, get those Japanese words off of me. <laughs> Com <laughs> commander Gamma the Gale. Oh, shit. That shit was so funny. Just look it up. <laughs> just, just type it on YouTube. Type in a uh, bo 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 bo, Gamma the Gale, <laughs> Commander of C Block. <laughs> That's so. It's like the most ghetto shit ever. And the funny part is that I'm not even making it up. I just dropped my fucking my uh, mouse. By the way, um, I'm not even making it up. The funny part is that. Like, in high school, there was definitely these, uh, group of kids that thought they were cool and shit. So, they had a quote-unquote gang, and they called it C-Block. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? So, it was, like, doubly funny to me. Um. Alright, where the fuck are we going now? We caught all the birds. Uh, we're not heading to Pallet Town. We're heading to Viridian. Is it Viridian? No. It's Cerulean that we're going to. Yeah? No, it's Viridian. It's Viridian. Viridian's the one we're going to, yeah? Let me see. Is it Viridian? Repel War Off, that's cool. Um, let's see. Yes, it is Viridian. Yes, okay. I think it is. I think we gotta talk to that guy over there. Right? The cave is over here? Maybe not? Hmm. 
King of Carp, let's go. Let's see. Yo, I must have dozed off. Oh, okay. Yeah, whatever. No, it's Cerulean. Yeah, no, it's Cerulean that we gotta go to. Okay. It's Cerulean. Of course it's Cerulean. Pewter, Cerulean. Alright. And it's over here. Okay. And which way do I enter from? Not from over here, right? Yeah, okay, from all the fuck the way up there. Alright. Well, we're gonna head into Cerulean Cave. Well, of course it was Cerulean, because it's called Cerulean Cave. I'm dumb. I'm stupid. Hello. Hi. <laughs> hello, hello. This is me we're talking about here. Of course I'm a fucking idiot. Great. Alright. But here in Cerulean, right, you're gonna want to take out your, uh, your actual team, so... The likes of HM Bitch is getting the fuck out of here. And we're bringing back out uh, two scoops. Because Cerulean Cave... I don't even think it's called Cerulean Cave now that I think about it. I think it's called some other dumb shit. But whatever. We're gonna call it Cerulean Cave because I already committed to it. Cerulean Cave is home to some of the more powerful Pokemon. Some of the most powerful wild Pokemon in the game. Like the lights of the dreaded Chansey. So, you're actually gonna want your team, right? And Pokemon around there are gonna be like level 50 and up, pretty much. Uh... Let's have Orphan lead the way, because I feel like Orphan hasn't had that much time to shine, honestly. Actually, you know what? I take that back. Chunners, you didn't have that much time to shine. So let you lead the way. So, with, uh, with Repel and Master Ball in hand, this is what you actually say the Master Ball for. Oh, by the way, I completely forgot to even say this in the playthrough, but I remember, uh, <laughs> I remember seeing, like, a, a, a nice little strategy tip, and, um, and, uh, the Pokemon strategy guide for this game, in which Professor Oak says, Hey guys, over here you get the rare Master Ball. And, you know, you only have one Master Ball, so save it for those hard-to-catch Pokémon, like a Pidgey or a Rattata or something. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, that's a legit actual tip in the game. Uh, not in the game, my bad, not in the game. In the, um, in the strategy guide for the, for the original game. It's so dumb. It's like for a Tidgey, for a Tidgey? Wow. For a Pidgey or like an, <laughs> or an Oddish or some bullshit. I'm just sitting there, I'm like, really, Professor Oak? You just fucking kids over like that? You can't be doing that, man. Ruining their lives. Didn't there used to be a guy up here? Oh, yeah. Yeah, there was a guy, like, blocking the way, and I guess he just moved. I thought, I always thought he would just, like, move to the side and stand here, you know? But anyways, we're here in Cerulean Cave. Through a true, uh, test of your, of your metal, your mantle, whatever the fuck you want to do. Home to strong Pokemons, like Sandslash and Chansey. If you're ever looking for a Chansey, this is where you might want to get one. Rolling Kick. Okay, I was confused for a moment, because I was like, where the fuck are my fighting moves? Oh, shit! I forgot critical hits are fucked in this game. Bam. Oh, come on, dog. Chun-Li, you couldn't even... Couldn't even stick it out for one fight. Really? <sighs> Damn it. Yo, Orphan. Use Frisure. <laughs> I don't think this ever got used. Is this a one-hit KO move? It is. Huh. Well, we landed it. That's cool. What the fuck? Let's get the fuck up here. Oh shit. Oh my god, it's a Rhydon. Go, Hydro Pump. Now it's dead. Look at that. Look at that, it's dead. Alright. Now, I'm gonna be honest. 
It's been a long time since I've ever since I've uh, been in this cave, so I don't remember where the fuck I'm going. It's a Doug Trio. No trios live in this cave. Jesus. Fire blast. Try attack. Should have really brought some healing with me. Go, use bite, I guess. The tree was pretty fucking fast, Jesus. I never liked the duo's design, but I like the trios. I always liked the trio's design. Venomoth! I keep forgetting that your evolution line is in this game. <laughs> I keep thinking you're a Gen 2 Pokemon. And I think the only reason I think that is because Gen 2 is when Ash catches a Venonat. What the fuck is a Venonat anyways? What is that thing supposed to be? Sleep powder? Are you kidding me? This whole entire game, no one's been getting fucked over by sleep powder, but then you just whip it out of nowhere and now, and now we're just getting fucked up? Alright, cool. No, that's fine. Go two scoops. Two scoops. Psy beam. There you go. Well, since uh, you're asleep now, I guess two scoops is going to be taking the lead. And since what what level is two scoops? Fifty three or something? So I think we're pretty good on the um. On the whole repel front. Did I just do all that for no reason? That's fine. That's cool. That's fine. No, that's fine. Where the fuck are you, Mewtwo? Entire bullshit. Oh, this fucking maze. What level are you? 52. What level is two scoops? 52. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, fuck. Psychic. Damn it. Ooh, unaffected. Wait, unaffect? What? Repel wore off. I mean, to be honest, it wasn't wasn't helping as much as I thought it would. Wait, isn't this where I came from? Oh no, it's not. Okay. Um I guess this is the right way to go? Okay. Another maze. That's fine. A ditto! Level 55! Ditto! You know what I just realized? I have a shit ton of Master Balls. Why am I fighting these guys? <laughs> Why am I fighting these guys? Gotta catch them all. Pokemon. Hey everybody, did you know that Ditto is a, f is a deformed fucked up of Mew? Oh, guess what, it actually isn't. There's actually an interview where the creators went like, Guys, you're dumb, you're all stupid. That's not the point of Ditto. <laughs> Capable of copying an enemy's genetic code to instantly transform itself into a duplicate of the enemy. Dude, it was a failed experiment of Mew. Did you know that? Did you know that the creators also came out and said, You're a fucking idiot? <laughs> oh, God, I love that. I love when, like, people go rampant with the theories, and then, like, a creator just gets up and goes, Excuse me? No. You're wrong, actually. You're actively wrong. <laughs> and I hope you feel bad about yourself now. <laughs> Get the 
fuck out my way, Ditto. Oh my god, I took, like, five steps. <laughs> it's a fucking Chansey! Listen, level 64. Yeah, I'm not dealing with that. We're just gonna... We're just gonna... There you go. Wait, why is it on? Wait, what? Why does it say four? Hmm. A rare and exclusive Pokemon... Exclusive? Why did I say that? Elusive. My bad. Elusive Pokemon that is said to bring happiness to those who manage to keep it. To keep it. To get it. Whatever the fuck. I mean, it brings happiness because it has a shit ton of HP, that's why. Let me check my items real quick. Why the fuck? Okay, yeah, alright. It's just glitched out. I'm like, why does it only say four? What the hell happened there? Uh... It's a Voltorb! Look how happy he is. He's like, yeah, I'm a Voltorb! I'm happy to be alive. Now get the fuck out of here before it explodes. Also, do I gotta put a... Do I gotta put this back up? Okay, cool. Oh my fucking god, little, little help that's gonna... That's gonna do. Jesus, fuck. Level 55s. This is what I get for fighting the Elite Four, uh, at low levels. Fucking Christ, I just want to pick up the goddamn... You know what? I don't want to touch the item that I think about it. It might be a fucking, uh, electrode. Get me the fuck out of here. Could also be an escape rope. It's a Raichu! Hey, you guys! That's what I think whenever I see Raichu. He's like, hey, what's happening? You guys want to get Boba tea or some shit? I always liked Raichu. <laughs> I always liked Raichu, but I never liked Raichu's design. Does that make sense? I like the fact that it was a bigger Pikachu, but I never liked his design because it has like a skinny fucking tail. And I'm like, oh, but I miss the big tail. I like the big Thunderbolt tail. That and its ears. I don't like how its ears, like, curls up. I was like Sandslash, though. I always thought that was a cool-looking Pokemon. Too bad Sandslash is fucking garbage. <laughs> I always thought Sand True and Sandslash were adorable. Alright, get your ass in the water, Magikarp. I know you're half asleep, but, uh, why did I call you Magikarp? Gyarados, my bad. I know you're half asleep, but, you know, get your ass in there. Fuck out the way. I can just run away for days. My speed is unmatched, unless you're an Electrode. If you're an Electrode, then I- then I'm gonna cry. He's so adorable. Look at him. In all his magnificent glory. I don't know why I'm saving the game. There's really no reason for me to. Mew. Two. This thing looks like a fucking abomination. <laughs> Level 70, Mew 2. It is a Psychic type. Of course it is, because it's the strongest type in the game. You Psychic! Let's at least have a proper fight. Oh, it used Psychic on me. Okay. This is the part where I'd be scared to, like, you know, not kill it. But, at the same time... Motherfucker used Barrier, are you kidding me? Of course, of course you did that the moment I go to use Mega Kick. Yeah, of course. Of course. Confusion! Fucking swift, you son of a bitch. Get confused. Confuzzled. More psychic. Two scoops, no! Two scoops is now dead. Alright, use next Pokemon? Yeah, sure. Go out there. My ace in the hole. Error. Make yourself useful. Blizzard! I forgot you have recover. 
Oh, it has recover, and since enemies in Gen 1 don't have fucking, uh, whatchamacallit. <laughs> they don't have power points. Oh, shit. It can just recover all day. Come on, get frozen. This is what you're here to do, Error. Freeze him. Come on, it's Blizzard, dog. It's Blizzard. You hit him with Blizzard twice. He didn't get frozen yet. That's what I like to see, Error. Hanging on by a thread. Come on. Ice beam. Aww. Okay. Well, uh... That's what happened. That's what happens. Go, Orphan. We can use Frisier and hit it with the... You know, one time, but let's not do that. And I'm gone. You can hit me while I'm underground with that? Really? Oh, shit. I didn't think you were going to do a critical. If you actually kill this damn thing, I'm going to be mad. Well, <laughs> we have our Master Ball. That's as good as it's going to get. I'm not even going to chance it. <laughs> not even going to kill him. Alright, we got me too. That's cool. Is the fucking... Are you serious? The beat music is still going? Damn it. It was created by a scientist after years of horrific uh, gene splicing and DNA engineering experiments. I want to point out this is a game for, like, fucking kids to play, in which they expect kids to know how to pronounce the words splicing, engineering, and experiments. This is, like, for fucking ten-year-olds. But to be fair, back in those days, ten-year-olds were way smarter than what they are now today. Hey, guys, new parents out there, please read a book to your children. Get them away from their goddamn phones, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Would you like to nickname Mewtwo? No, not really. I would like for this music to get the fuck out my ear. Thank you. Alright, well that's Mewtwo. We caught him. We did it. That's cool. This is the part where I would, uh... Then... Edit away and we would go grab Mew, but guess what? I'm not doing that because, you know, Mew's kind of a pain in the ass to grab. Also, I don't have an escape rope, so I'm kind of just trapped in here for the rest of my life and all eternity. So, uh... Maybe this is how... Maybe this is what caused Red to lose his mind and head to fucking Mount Pyre. <laughs> He's like, and then I didn't have an escape rope, and I lived in a cave for all my life, and then I went, well, time to head to a mountain. What's a mountain but a higher cave? <laughs> but anyways, with all that said and done, that is it for the Pokemon Marathon. Marathon? What the hell am I? What? No. <laughs> that is, that's it for the Pokemon Marathon. We did one game. Goodbye. No. That's it for Pokemon Red and Blue um, playthrough. Right. And next on the Pokemon Marathon is uh, the next game. Well, as close as I can, right? I want to kind of do these games in the order that they came out in, which is why I kind of had to wait a little bit to, to like get to the next uh, playthrough in the Pokemon Marathon because I kind of fucked up a little bit in my scheduling, so I had to have some uh, stuff done to like... Uh, do it the way that I wanted to do it, <laughs> but, yeah. But yeah, fucking, the next Pokemon game in the Pokemon Marathon is Hey You Pikachu! Yeah, that's right. That's right, we're doing it. We're doing Hey You Pikachu. So, I guess I'll see you guys in that game as my sanity gets lower and lower, but hey, you know what? At least I won't have to stare at a fucking white screen the whole entire time. At least I would have some colors to look at. That's pretty nice. <laughs> but that's it for Pokemon Red and Blue. And we can finally get a move on with the Pokemon Marathon on to the next game. If you like the playthrough, right? Please leave a like, leave a comment. Comment can say anything you want. It can just say hi if you want it to, right? But, you know, leave some feedback because it helps out the channel a lot. And it lets the YouTube algorithm know that, you know, people watch my channel and maybe we can get more eyes on the channel. And then that in turn can get more eyes on the Twitch and that in turn can get more eyes on the channel. And, you know, it's an endless cycle of algorithm footsies. That's pretty much how we do it out here. 
because we're all slaves to the algorithm when it comes down to it. Oh my god, I just realized Mewtwo's fucking six, seven. Jesus, what? <laughs> no wonder why he was towering over. I mean, everybody towers over Ash, but like, that's a big motherfucker. Two hundred and sixty-nine pounds. What the? F mm. I mean, when you got when you got a fucking booty like a Dunka truck, I guess you know, got them baby making hips, Mewtwo. That's all I'm saying. But all right. <laughs> but anyways, I'll see you guys. In the next playthrough, hey you Pikachu, wow, this is gonna, this might be fun, I don't know, but yeah, as always, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Stay happy, stay healthy, and take care. I'm a chef, chef too.